evaluate 12 and a half percent of 64.8 kgs so this is how you do it there are actually many ways but i want you to do it this way so it would be 12 12 and a half means 12.5 and percent means over 100 okay so this over 100 it can replay it can um, it can it can replace percent so this 100 it can, can replace percent and you say multiply by 64.8 like this kgs of course so how would you go about it so here you 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 25 is a factor for the top and the bottom so here before year 25 we'll actually get uh, zero here but remainder 12 and then into 125 you'd get five here okay so 0 0.5 So, 4 into 4, 1 into 6, that's 1, remainder 2 into 24, that's 6, into 8, that's 2. So, you have 16.2 multiplied by 0 0.5, which is simply a half of 16.2. You actually get 8.1 kgs. This. Okay. So it was a matter of knowing that this one was one eighth and uh, divide this by one eighth, you get um, 8.1. Okay. So there are many ways to go about to just make sure that you find you get this answer here. And then you'll be fine. So for the B part, the determinant of the matrix, this is, is nine you're given. So you find the odds to find the value of um, A. So how we do it is you just, uh, okay, this one is your formula for de uh, determinant. And you multiply this diagonal, uh, then take the difference between this diagonal, the product, and the product of this diagonal. So it'd be 3, A minus 1, okay. Then minus, which is permanent, 6 and 9, equal to, what's the answer? It's equal to 9, okay. Then you divide throughout by, by 3. You get A minus 1, minus 2 by 3 here. Uh, 2 by, uh, 2 as in, we divide by three year, then it be it would still be nine year. So divide by by three year, it would still it would be three year. So you get a equal to three plus one plus what plus eighteen. So this one is uh, is a shorter method to go about it. So you'd actually get twenty two. The other method that you'd go about it, it's safer but it's a little bit longer, is to actually expand. So minus 3 minus 54 a year equal to 9 year, then 3a equal to 9 plus 3 plus 54. You're also dealing with bigger numbers. And here you get uh, 9 plus this, you get 12. Then 12 plus this, you get 66. Then 66, divide uh, both sides by 3, then you get 22 year. This is another way to go about it. But then you're dealing with, with bigger numbers, okay? If you're fast and then you're confident, you can always use this. But this one is a safer way to go about it. Let's quickly move to question 12. Mm, question 12, what does it say? It says factorize completely. So you have this. This is a square. This is a square. This is a dead giveaway. It's different of, difference of two squares. If it's dif difference of two squares, the way you factorize is you put your brackets here. Then get the square root of the first, first square. So this one would be 3. The square root of the second square, the square root for the numbers, it's 6. And for the variables here, it would be x. So plus 6x minus 6x. Only that. So you just put your first square, square root. And after you put your first square root, you put plus, you put minus here. And then you put your second square root. And that's it. That's how you factorize um, this. So the second one, you got four terms. And whenever you have four terms, for the most part, what it means is that they want you to they want you to um, match the brackets usually, and this is a very common question, by the way. So um, how would you go about it? You can rearrange here such that you'd have at least like terms. So I'll, I want you to group the the ones with a's. You're free to move around stuff, but then whenever you're moving around, just remember that a number has assigned to its left so whenever you shift it 
or something it takes its sign with it okay so here you can um, factor out a so you get 1 plus x here you can factor out negative b you get x plus 1 which is the same as 1 plus x okay let me just write x plus 1 here um then let me just correct a1 1, 1 plus x is simply equal to x plus 1 it's still the same thing then when these brackets match there can be one bracket here and these ones they will check um, their own bracket and then be their own brackets and then that's it okay so that's how you factorize it let's quickly move to uh, question 13 so question 13 says state the order of rotational symmetry of a regular pentagon so the buzzword here is regular regular means same sides um, equal sides equal sides and equal angles regular pentagon pentagon means five okay means five if you watch too many movies pentagon has uh, you know but five-sided structure so pentagon simply means five when you're asked to state the order of rotational symmetry for a regular pentagon or a regular polygon in general it's equal to the number of sides so it's simply five here if it were a heptagon then it would have been seven if it would be a decagon regular decagon it'd be ten if it were an equilateral triangle it'd be three and this is the same also for lines of symmetry for these regular polygons okay so you get five here three angles of a pentagon are this this and this of a pentagon the remaining two are such that one is twice the other find the size of each of the remaining angles so you have a pentagon in five sides so you have one side two side uh th third side then you have two that are such that one is twice the other so you can say let the smaller not smaller yeah you can say let the smaller angle be x such that the other is what I guessed it twice so it'd be 2x now the sum would be x plus 2x plus 110 plus 80 plus 140 equal to what equal to the sum of all the the um interior angles okay so interior angles the formula for finding uh the sum of the interior angles is 180 and minus minus two like this so it'd be 180 5 minus minus 2 so here you get 3x here you can bundle this up so let's say here you get uh, uh, this one plus this one you get 250 250 plus 80 you get uh, uh, 330 okay so you get 330 here equal to you then here you get 180 by 3 you can even divide throughout by 3 here you get x plus this one will be 110 this one will be 180 so you get x equal to 180 minus 110 which is equal to 70 degrees okay so that's the shorter angle therefore the other is angle is 2x which is equal to 2 by 70 degrees okay which is equal to 2 by 70 degrees which means what 140 degrees on the this so one is this one is this and uh, when you revise you can even double check if uh, if you're right on this and I'll just quickly show you how you'd uh, go about doing that so first you'd uh, you're just taking inventory it's just verifying sometimes you can be even wrong about this so don't be too confident so it can be 5 minus 2, just like what we said. So it'd be what? It'd be 180 by 3. So it'd be 54, I think. Uh, it'd be 30 plus 24, which is equal to 54. 
so it'd be 540 degrees that would be the sum of the interior angles right right so here you'd add now here you'd get uh, 250 250 plus this you'd get 330 degrees 330 when you add 70 you'd get 400 degrees okay 400 when you get when you add 140 you get 540 degrees which is uh, obviously this so this is how you verify some of those things and you can verify when you are uh, revising don't verify after writing okay just write leave it there because when you revise and then you take too much time you end up not finishing the exam so question 14 says it's given that p is equal to this q is equal to this find giving your answer in standard form pq pq which means that they are multiplying is equal to our p is 3.6 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 our q is 9.9 .9, just 9 multiply by 10 to the power negative 4 like this so you have to multiply the numbers separately okay so it'd be 3 um can even show it okay multiply by 9 times 10 to the power negative 4 plus 4 here minus 4 okay so 3.6 times 9 then you get 54 here so that's 5 you give 5 sets and then you left with 4 27 27 plus uh, this you get 32 I think um yeah so 27 plus 5 you get 32 then you have one decimal place there, so obviously it's 32.4. So it'll be 32.4 multiplied by here, you get 10 to the power 0. So you have to readjust your answer to standard form. So how do you how you'd go about it is you'd shift the comma. So comma comes here. And then you have made this more. So you have to power this. You have to power it by the number of decimal places that you moved. So you moved uh, decimal place by 1. So you have to power it by 1 as well. So that uh, it retains the same value times 10 to the power 0 so obviously it would be 3.24 times 10 to the power 1 like this this would be your final answer okay so what we did was that the numbers they multiply separately the um, indices you can always add them according to the laws of indices okay then afterwards uh, you have to readjust this because standard form means any number between it should be equal to or greater than 1 but then it should be less than less than 10 okay so that's it let's move to the b part the b part says we are supposed to divide now so it'd be p divided by q which is equal to p it's 3.6 times 10 to the power 4 divided by q it's 9 times 10 to the power negative 4 then again you separate those you can separate them okay 9 then multiply by 10 to the power 4 minus minus for the divide for the uh, division there and you already have minus 4 like this so it gets 0 point, 0 point, uh, 4 years so 9 into 9 1 into this you get 0 and a 3 uh, and then there's a comma there that's why I put it and 9 into 36 you get 4 and then here you get plus so you get 10 to the power 8 but then you have to adjust here so how you adjust here is you make this four, you're moving your comma here, but then you've made this one bigger, so you have to disempower it. You disempower it by the number of, uh, by a negative index, okay, negative power, but then the negative power, and then the negative power has to be the number of times that you shifted the comma. So to make this four, we shifted the comma to the right one time. So you get this and this, and then you get four multiplied by 10 to the power seven. Okay, this would be a standard form. And then you're done. Let's quickly move to um, the final question for this video. Okay, so let's move to question 15. It says make R the subject of the formula. We have this P, uh, which is momentum, I think. It's equal to pi omega squared angular momentum uh, multiplied by R minus omega over T. So this is a, uh, a formula in physics. But anyway, you're asked to make R the subject of formula. So it's a uh, rho equal to pi omega squared here. 1, uh, which is R here, not, not 1. 
uh, with you like this, then you need to get rid of uh, this pi omega squared. Okay, and let me show you how you get rid of that. You need to isolate this. So you, you want to remove everything from it so that it's only you on one side. So you can multiply by 1 over pi omega squared here. 1 over pi omega squared here. One step. And these ones, they obviously cancel. And once they cancel, you have p over pi omega squared like this. Equal to r minus omega over 2. Like this. Then you get i equal to p over pi omega squared plus omega over 2. Like this. And then you're done. Okay. If you want, you can proceed after this by combining the two. So you'd get r equal to, if you want, just leave it like this, especially if you are, you know, you're, you're short of time. So you can put the, the common denominator, it'd be 2 pi omega squared like this. Then you get uh, this into this, you get 1, you get 2, 2 pi by this. You get 2 rho. Then here, you get pi omega squared. So obviously, when you add, you'd get 2, um, you'd get pi. So this into this, you get pi omega squared. So you'd get pi omega cubed. Okay, so this, both of these, they are the acceptable answers here. If you don't have time, then just leave it there. And you're asked to substitute now. They will give you the same answer when you substitute. So we want to substitute i equal to rho, which is 72 here, over pi, it's what, 6 squared, plus omega 6 over 2 like this so here 6 into uh, 36 into 6 squared means 36 13 36 1 into this you get what 2 so you get 2 over pi plus what plus 3 done that's it so we'll move to question 16 uh, through 20 in the next uh, video um remember to like share and subscribe yuba out